My son, you will form an organization that will serve all people unconditionally. This was the life-changing prophecy told to the founder of Gift of the Givers, Dr. Imtiaz Suleiman, back in 1992. Well, fast forward decades and Suleiman has rushed to help countless communities when their leaders have failed them. It's therefore no surprise that today the seed of South Africa's soil is being celebrated for his uninterrupted humanitarian work. Suleiman was this week crowned the Social Justice Champion for 2021. He was given the award at the third annual Social Justice Summit, which was hosted by Stellenbosch University. Well, to celebrate his excellence, we're now joined by South Africa's real-life hero, mine especially. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Imtia Suleiman. First of all, a massive congratulations. You, I understand, were in Hrafrenet drilling boreholes when you got the call about the award. Uh, good evening. Uh, good morning. Sorry, Anika. <laughs> I wasn't in Hrafrenet. I just returned from, from actually Eastern Cape. I was there last week. You know, we were doing a whole lot of projects at Adelaide. We went to visit hospitals. We went to visit areas where water and health interventions are required, where food is required, where animals require water. So I was there in Eastern Cape. I had just returned. And Monday evening, I got a call in the late night, and the guy phones me and said, you're getting the award tomorrow, Social Justice Champion Award. I don't know what he was referring to. I had no idea about this award. I said, he said, I need your picture, I need your bio. I said, at this part of the night? He said, yes, we have to prepare the information for tomorrow. There's a conference taking place at Stellenbosch, and we're going to announce it there at 12 o'clock. So, you know, I just complied. I was sort of in the confused because I didn't know what he was referring to. But anyway, he said, Professor Tuli Modoncel is involved and, and Vice Chancellor Bob de Villiers. So, okay, that sounded very credible. So I sent him the information and got a call at 12 o'clock, just after 12 on Tuesday, to say, look, you've got this award. Doctor, uh, am I right that you were inspired by a Sufi teacher in Istanbul who said to you, you will serve people of all races, religion and class and never expect a thank you? Yes. I met him for the first time in August 1991. And then my heart connected with him, and I went back in August 92. It was a Thursday night, the 6th of August. It is besides inspiration, it was an instruction. It was not something, Gift of the Givers is not a normal type of organization where I got up one morning and said, okay, let's have an organization, give it a name, find a constitution, write some things, what we're going to do. It caught me completely by surprise because it was a spiritual instruction and it has a spiritual basis. It was 10 p.m. at night. The teacher looked me in the eye after a prayer session. And in fluent Turkish, I don't understand a word of Turkish, but I understood every single word that he said. And that told me this was something special. He said, my son, I'm not asking you. I'm instructing you to form an organization. The name in Arabic will be Wakful Wakifin. Translated, it means gift for the givers. You will serve all people of all races, of all religions, all colors, all classes, all cultures, of any geographical location and of any political affiliation. But you will serve them unconditionally. You will expect nothing in return, not even a thank you. This is an instruction for the rest of your life. And remember, whatever you do is done through you and not by you. A gift of the givers has delivered services worth more than 3.8 billion rand in 44 countries. You've got four cell phones. Uh, you work 24-hour days. You manage 90 staff. How on earth have you managed to achieve so much? That, that the whole secret of that lies in the spirituality. You know, it says that whatever is done is done through you and not by you. Anika, let's be honest. The kind of things that we achieve is not humanly possible. It happens with the outer hand doing things for you. And quite very often my prayer, I always tell God Almighty, you know what? You do all the things and you just give me the credit. It's all dedication goes, all of and all uh, compliments or support goes to my staff, especially in, in the light of this award, I mean, we've received numbers of, numerous awards, but this award is special because it comes at a time that my staff have really worked day and night, sacrificed their family for weeks on end, worked Monday to Sunday, school holidays, public holidays, weekends, Eid, Diwali, Christmas, all over, driven by the fact that people in this country are in real need. We're going to burn them out, you know, and they say no, they will continue. Night, morning, day, doesn't matter. They're just driven. So really, this has come at a time where I can't say it's no, it's me. It's driven by staff, by families, and South Africans who are, who are encouraging us. My staff tell me wherever they stop on the road, people compliment them, give them praise, tell them thank you. They go to a restaurant when they want to pay the bill, somebody has paid the bill for them already. This is South Africa. And that's why I have so much of hope in this country. 
and give all credit to the people who have made this possible. Doctor, you've declined calls that you've been nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. Uh, you've got five children, uh, a wife called Zora, uh, who's helped you first uh, establish the foundation. How would they describe you? Well, it's a slight modification on that. I have two wives. <laughs> a second wife called Aisha, and I've got a sixth child called Rahma. And, you know, they all, they all, well, the first wife, Zora, says, I'm not human. She says when there's a discussion about emotions and people's feelings, I can't take part in the discussion. I'm an alien, you know, because I just have no emotion. I'm too cold, and then I, I, I just I, I don't get affected by anything. It's a complete contradiction. On the one side, you know, it's as we serve people, but of course, I don't allow myself to be attached to that. So she keeps insisting I'm an alien, and I can say the same thing. They, they recognize the fact that, yes, you know, I'm not available. I travel too much. I'm involved all the time. But they met the mask. They saw the, you know, they know the instruction I got, and they know what it means to me as a person in, in following that instruction. So they've been very, very sacrificial in every way. In fact, in, they followed me. In, Zora runs the counseling service. Aisha is involved with the, she's a nurse, she's involved in procurement and medical supplies. All my kids, my son has joined me as an IT specialist. My daughter's first daughter is a dietitian. So everybody wants to be involved in some way because it's part of what they've seen and what they've learned. So they all, they appreciate what they do. They think I'm crazy. But, you know, I appreciate the sacrifice from both sides. Thank you so much. That's the newly crowned social justice champion, Dr. Imtia Suleiman, the founder of Gift of the Givers Foundation.